payback time. You know, a reason I don't make a lot of Droid District episodes is because I can't really think of what to talk about. Because Battle Droid action figures are pretty, you know, there's not a lot going on there. There's not nearly as many variants as Clone Troopers. There's not nearly as many different things to talk about. So I figured I would talk about the Clone Wars droids and just talk about them. Because I feel like they've gotten a bit of a reputation for being not that good. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them don't have the best articulation. A lot of them aren't really looking that good. Here, let me, give, give me a second here. There we go. I don't know how I forgot him, but I forgot him. Anyways, yo, these are the Clone Wars droids. I don't have them all. Uh, notably, I'm missing the AAT battle droid. I'm missing the firefighter battle droid that I would love to have. And I'm missing the second version of the Magna Guard. Oh, I'd love to have that. But anyways, this is what I got. I'm pretty happy with my collection. I'm missing various repaints of the tactical droid, but I'm not worried about that. I'm also missing the commander of him. But anyways, going on with the, the video, I'm mostly talking about the molds here. And I pretty much have all the different molds. And I like these guys. I do. I like the, the Clone Wars battle droids. But they have the issue of... <sighs> They don't stand up that well, uh, <laughs> just blowing on them. You can see that most of them have been completely knocked down. I'm sure he would have fallen over if uh, I hadn't really worked hard to uh, get him to stand. But yeah, um, uh, they, they just don't stand up too well. And that's because of the designs. The designs of these droids, uh, the, the Clone Wars animated series. You can look at these super battle droids. Look at this. Let's look at this one. Let's let's look at him. Okay, so his design's pretty cool. I like I like the stripes on him. I think it was used in the new Battlefront game. Even has the little rockets there where he actually flies around, which is really cool to see. And he even has the Arabesh. It's really nice. Really good looking figure. The problem is Dave Filoni decided to design this guy with the skinniest legs ever. Look at those legs. So skinny they cannot subs they can't even sustain a joint. Uh, I mean, no hope of even getting a joint in there. But look at that. Look at how skinny it is. How can he stand up with this massive top body and these skinny legs? They're not that skinny in the movies. They decided to aesthetically design the battle droids with the skinniest legs ever. I mean, they did a lot of cool repaints. Like, look, here's the training super battle droid from Kamino. That is so sweet. I love the deco on it. It's got all the little hit marks. I love that. And, of course, we have the standard super battle droid right there. And then we have a variant with the rocket arm. And no, no elbow joint, unfortunately. At least I don't believe there is one. No, there isn't, because he has a missile. He had a missile you could fire out. He even has a little logo right there, which is cool. Yeah, really cool Super Battle Droid variant. I appreciate that they made this. Oh, look, even swivel elbow. Oh, look, see what I'm talking about? Just swiveling the elbow caused him to fall over. Yeah, good figure, though. It's just, you need, you need bases for these guys, man, because they're not going to stand up. Oh, uh, talking about the tactical droid, another instance where the legs are just so thin they can't even sustain a joint, so they don't have one. Uh, but he does have ball-jointed ankles, which actually really helps him out in standing up. Because, see, look, you can just kind of move his legs around, and his balls and his ankles will sustain a pose. Oh my gosh, golly. We're just going to leave whoever falls over. We're just going to leave him down. We're going to see what happens at the end of the video. He was actually initially fallen over, and we're going to talk about that. Anyways, this is the normal battle droid. All the way from back in 2008 is when they came out with this guy. And he's a pretty good army builder. Honestly, I do enjoy him. Some of his joints are a little tight. Um, like, you can hear the creak. You can hear the creak there. I'm worried his arm is going to break. And you may be wondering, why are you worried his arm is going to break? The reason this guy is down here is because I have him dead on my shelf. Because, look, his arm actually did break. Because the joint was so tight, the plastic tore before the ball joint moved. I was, it was back in 2008, I was, how, how old, 10? I didn't know to heat stuff up back in the day, so I broke his arm. Um, now he's just dead on my shelf, just kind of like that. Even though I did, I did glue it, I did fix it, so it, it can still move, it can still work. You just have to be really careful and hope it doesn't tear off again. But yeah, that's, that's what happens with these guys. They might break. And also, um, they just kind of pop apart easy. I don't know if you saw that, but look, his, his leg just came off. I, well, I wasn't even really trying, it just comes off. Uh, you definitely need bases. You just need bases for these guys. But sometimes they may stand up. You can see he's kind of standing up. No no arm swivel, so he can't really hold the gun with two hands. Kind of a junk toy, honestly. It's not... Okay, so it's not a junk toy. But it's just not the best. Later on, they made a different battle droid. Where he still needs a base to really stand up, right? He actually has knees now. Um, 
It's actually really nice. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, they still don't have a rotation right there. But look at this color, man. It's kind of, it's sort of based off of R2-D2's battle droid team, but it's not specifically one of those. I think this came with a, a little mini rig for the battle droids. I think it was just a design they came up with. But still, you can use it as one of R2's droids if you want. Um, I personally don't. I just use it as like a blue droid. But yeah, I like that a lot. And then, of course, you had redecos into the commander for that droid in the back right there. You can see the commander. And I just got it at the toy show, the pilot. Even had a redeco for the pilot, which I appreciate. But still, it's the same thing, but a pilot. So be careful. Uh, just put him in a vehicle, and then there you go. You don't need the backpack, though. Hey, look, he finally gave out. Uh, <laughs> you don't need the backpack, though, since droid pilots don't have backpacks. But yeah, he did come with one, so I appreciate that. Anyways, though, let's talk about the redo of that. It's pretty much just a slight remold into the rocket, the space battle droid. Uh, he has a new head right there with the floodlight on it. And he also has a jetpack, which I might have had upside down the whole time. But I'm pretty sure I didn't, because look at the sculpt right there. Look, it's supposed to go like that, but it looks like it's upside down. Is that not upside down? Those are the thrusters, right? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be facing this way? But look, look at how this tabs in. Look at how this tabs in. It doesn't go in right, right there. It just doesn't feel right. It goes in more completely this way. But then again, it could go this way. I don't know. I'm very confused. But yeah, look, he's got a rocket on him. He looks cool. I like him. I like the deco. Uh, I don't think they made the commander, because there was a commander. Uh, but still, I appreciate they made that. Then next up, let's talk about the Magna Guard. Uh, this is another one I got back when it came out. That's why a finger is broken off of him, because his hands um, are actually very brittle. They're actually very brittle. They're not soft plastic at all. They're actually very hard. In putting this staff in his hand one day, the finger just broke off. A little collection of fingers. So that's a shame, uh, but still a really cool figure. Um, yet again, no knees. And then he only has swivels at the at the legs, so it's not super poseable. The newer version they did, the newer version, uh, that's funny. The white one, definitely better. I definitely want to get that at some point. But still a, good, still a cool figure, man. I enjoy having it. Um, I kind of wish I had another one, but I just want that variant, honestly. The different version they did. So there's, oh my gosh, there's the Magna Guard. Uh, uh, stand up, please. Okay, there we go. And then let's talk about this guy. The Aqua Droid. The Camino Droid. This droid that was in the Clone Wars, and I think I think they brought him back for like some Rise of Skywalker prequel. Like I heard something where like Rey had to take one of these out or something. I don't, I don't know. I didn't look into it. But yeah, it's actually a really cool figure besides it doesn't stand up too well. Uh, it's probably one of the very best. He has knees, he has ball hinges, a variety of them. You know, he, he looks very nice. Look at the shoulders. He's got multiple hinges there. Um, he, he's great. He's got a swivel right there. He has oh, really great detail. He's got this cool gun arm. Uh, his head can actually move around pretty freely as well, even though it does like falling down, because he can collapse his head, and you can fold up his little feet, which are on ball joints, by the way, and hinges, so they move around very nicely. You can fold up his little feet and you kind of get him in his his swim mode. Really reminds me of like a Gog or a Zagok or um, kind of, I would say, uh, the High Gog probably the most from Mobile Suit Gundam. It definitely gives me some High Gog vibes, especially with those long arms. Uh, but still very aquatic, very aquatic battle droid and I love it. Um, the shame is though, it just doesn't stand up all the time. I usually have mine kneeling because it, when he falls over, man, it is the shelf is doomed. Uh, he's been kneeling on my shelf for quite a while, though. Really amazing figure, though. I love that. I unfortunately don't have that big droid that was in the movie, the big cylindrical droid. Actually came in the same pack as that guy. I just didn't get... I have all the figures from that pack besides a big cylindrical droid, which is so, so crazy. But this is the last guy I want to talk about. This is the Commando droid. Everything that they did wrong on the other ones, they did right on this one. The articulation is amazing. Uh, it's not it's not super duper. Like he doesn't have a swivel at the elbow. Please get in focus, Mister Mister Commando Droid. I would appreciate that. But look, look, his head can move really nice. He's got nice hinges. He's got he's he's nice, man. He's really nice. And you do have a swivel right there, so you can at least sort of bend him and flex him a little bit to get him holding the gun in two hands. I mean, it looks it looks better than the normal battle droid. Then you got knees that work and are nice. And you have hinges that have rockers at the ankles. 
Even modern vintage collection can't say they have rocker ankles. And this guy over here has rocker ankles. This is the king of the Clone Wars battle droids right here. The Commando. I got this in the freaking P.O. box, man. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, such an awesome figure. I have the Bounty Hunter versions as well, but I just got that one down for this video. And there we go, man. There's the Clone Wars battle droids. Uh, just the Separatist ones. I didn't show off the IG the IG units or any of the other droids they did. Um, I, I, I do enjoy these guys, but they have their issues. Their issues are that they don't stand up too well on their own, and they don't have knees for the most part. I didn't talk about the Droidica. Uh, <laughs> I just realized I didn't talk about the Droidica. Oh my gosh. Um, I almost concluded the video, and I didn't even talk about the Droidica. So yeah, this figure is basically just a brick. Um, you can kind of scrunch him down a bit. He's got a little thing where he's like, po he pops. He's got a little button right there. He's like, oh, you know, he, he can't really roll around, but you can move him a little bit. You can probably like pretend he's rolling and then you can like bring him out. Cause I think these, these like go in, right? Or you can kind of just rest him right there. Then you pop him and he's like, pop. And then he's like, oh, ping, 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 ping. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> he, he, I love the droid again, always. So the ping, 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 ping. Yeah, he, he's just a brick. He stands up fine though. Cause you know, he's a brick. But still, I, I like that they made a Clone Wars droidica. I appreciate that. Anyways, there we go. That's the last droid. That's it. That's everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, another another droid district out of the way. Isn't that spectacular? Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. As well as my P.O. Box address and my frequently asked questions. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Don't get your droids in a twist. <sighs> I know you want to see it one more time. <sighs> Hey, it wasn't that bad.